Up to this point, we've only dealt with transitions that's using a single condition. But there's going to be cases where we'll need either several conditions to be met at the same time, or we need one or another condition to be met. Let's explore both of these use cases. First, let's start by creating two inputs. The first is going to be a Boolean, and the second is a number. Now we're going to set up our transition so that when the Boolean is true and the number equals one, it'll actually cause the transition. In other words, multiple conditions need to be met before a transition can happen. To do this, we'll select the transition, add a condition, select our number first, make sure that it's equal to one, and then we can go in and add our Boolean. And we wanna make sure when we add the Boolean that the condition is set to true. Now we can add as many conditions as we want. So let's go ahead and play the state machine and you'll see that if we check the Boolean that our transition isn't going to occur because that second condition hasn't been met. But as soon as we go in and change our number from zero to one, the transition happens. In this case, we've created an and transition, meaning that condition one and condition two must be met before the transition happens. Now let's create an or transition. So let's delete this transition and create a new one. And we'll set this new transition to have the transition occur if one or the other condition is met. In this case, we'll be looking to see if either the Boolean is true or the number is one. Since we'll be making an or transition, let's go ahead and start with this first one and add a new condition and we'll select the number first and make sure that if the number equals one, this transition occurs. Now, if we want to set the or part of this, we're gonna need an additional transition that can use the Boolean. So let's go in and add that second transition. And you'll see that a second arrow has appeared, letting us know that we can add conditions here. So let's select that second transition go in, add the condition, and this time we'll select the Boolean. Now let's activate the state machine and we can either choose to use the number or the Boolean to have our animation transition. So let's start with the Boolean first. You can see that that caused the transition and we can stop the state machine and start it again. And we can also use the number input to cause the transition. So now we've explored adding different types of logic to create our transitions. And you can use this on more complex state machines as the need arises.